Hello. Hello. Um, I want to uh, take these books out, please. Yes. Sir. Thank you. I hope this um, doesn't uh, seem impertinent. <laughs> well, it does. It seems very impertinent. Um, but uh, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, you know, for some time, um, something. <laughs> E.G. Uh, no, I.E. Um, <laughs> could you see your way in, in the not too distant future to, um, could you, uh, I'm going to say it, <laughs> stamp these books? Uh, certainly. <laughs> the wonderful world of the earthworm, non <laughs> Must be a fascinating job working in a library. Oh, sometimes. The wit and wisdom of Jack Burdell. Oh, non-fiction. Mm. Do you, uh, do you live here? <laughs> not in the library. No, no, not in the library, no. <laughs> no, I meant locally, you know. Yes, yes, I live in Woodley Crescent. Ours is the big white house on the corner. Ours? Are you married, or have you, uh, well, indeed, these days people just live with her. <laughs> uh, oh, in the, in the, in the White House, nice. Oh, yes, I'm with, with my mother, unfortunately. Good. <laughs> I mean, is your mother, um, good? Good? <laughs> I mean, are you, uh, you know, are you sort of happy there? Well, I'd much rather have someone on my own. <laughs> <laughs> so would I. Well, I have. I mean, I would rather you, you were what I meant was. <laughs> <laughs> Home seamstress and camping for boys. <laughs> You've got Catholic taste. <laughs> no, they're not for me, they're for somebody else, actually. I, um... <laughs> <laughs> Do you live in the Bingley Road? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd seen you around there. <laughs> Bramley's not much fun, is it? No, you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, uh, may I say that, um, you know, I've enjoyed our little chat. So have I. <laughs> Good. Well, I'll be off then. I, um, I was wondering, uh, there is one thing I meant to, I ask you. <laughs> Goodness me, we're not total strangers, are we, really? <laughs> I wondered if you'd like, perhaps, uh, you know, to come out um, tomorrow night for a, well, for a drink. I mean, you not, not you'd have to. I mean, perhaps you don't even drink. Oh, I'd um, love to come out for a drink. Sorry, I'm not putting this very well. Oh, not at all. <laughs> I apologise, really. Uh, tonight? What? Uh, well, I mean, I, 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 I am free tonight. Oh, you didn't, uh, you didn't mind my asking, then? Not at all. I'm very flattered. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> well, shall we say eight o'clock at the Rockingham? Uh, that lovely. I'll see you then. <clears throat> well, uh, au revoir. Oh, uh, oh, uh, au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, Sally, look, Sally, ooh, would you listen to me for a moment, please, Sally? Sally, I just want to speak. Sally, Sally, excuse me, Sally, look, Sally. You selfish pig, get out! Oh, go on, there's a vase. I tell you what, why don't you throw that at me as well, eh? You silly woman, I gave you that! Well, you got it back, haven't oh, you? Oh, come on, Sally, look, look, I told you, I'll tell him about it all. <coughs> It's self, self, self with you all the time, isn't it? That's right. Oh, come on, Sally. Look, will you listen to me, please? I am listening. You're not listening. You're packing, aren't you? All right, I'm not listening. Oh, that is it. I'm going out. That I'm going out. Look, Sally, Sally, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you admit it. Now, come on, you're not usually this stupid, are you? Stupid? Oh, now we're getting it. Look, I told you on Tuesday, either he goes or I do. And I said if he wasn't out by Tuesday, I'd be off. And I am. Well, look, he's not staying with us forever, you know. It only seems like oh, it. Oh, come on, Sally. We don't even use that room, do we? We're all right, but he uses the kitchen and the bathroom. And my flannel's been moved. Well, he never rinses a bath out. He's got filthy razor blades wrapped in filthy paper, and he could at least get his own toothpaste. Yes, yes. All, all right. Now, come on. It's all so petty. Now, come on. What else is there, Sally? You what? should know. How should I know? You've never yet told me! You've never even told me! Well, if you don't know, I'm not going to tell now, Sally, you. Sally, come here. Come here. Put the case down. You're going to sit over there. I won't You're going sit to sit down. down no! There. You're going to sit! Thank you very much. Now, come on. What else is there? All right. 
for the last two weeks you've spent all the time in the evenings with him. Chatting with Ronnie, going to the pub with Ronnie. I'm just something that sits in the corner and knits. Well, not anymore. God, is that all, Sally? Now, come on, that's nothing. I can soon change that. No, that is not all. There's something even worse. What? His mother. Oh. Well, she's always coming round. Clean underpants, bit of dust in the mantelpiece. Oh, that's not the way I do my vegetables. When was the last time you had this carpet clean? But the last straw was that remark about my bra. Oh, Sally, you don't even wear one. Exactly. She said I ought to wear something that gave me more uplift. Oh, I was just, uh, I'm just going Sally, to... look, I think you're beautiful just the way you are. Well, she's never coming here again. All right, all right, all right. Hello, I'll get it. Hello, hello, I'll get it. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> so you don't think he was listening, do you? I hope he was. Oh, Mother, hello. good heavens, couldn't you come back at another time? Don't please? be silly, dear. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Corbett. Hello. Oh, looking a little peaky, dear. Aren't you feeling well? You were looking a little peaky this morning. Regular meals, that's what I always say. She does, you know. Ronnie, I brought you some clean... Some clean what, Mother? Clean, uh, what, uh, jelly or fish? <laughs> Parmesan cheese or... Uh, oh, no, it's coming through. And, 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 and underpants. Don't be silly, Ronnie. Sorry, dear. No, I thought I'd just pop round for an hour for a chat. Mrs. Willard, work, work, work. I was telling Sally this morning, guess what, I've just heard, it's happened again. At least we're pretty certain it has, because Mrs. Butler saw her coming out of the clinic with a face like thunder. Her face was black. Mrs. Willard, West African, is she? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Butler is the bonny woman who keeps the little sweet shop in the arcade. At least she did after she had that purchase order. Now, there's a scandal, there's a story there. Do you know that in the last year, Mrs. Butler has been through fire and water? She does part-time work in a circus as well. <laughs> January, the womb. Mm. Within a month, back inside again. Left a swab in. Oh. Now there's Dr. Phillips for you. Oh, <laughs> oh, I could tell you a thing or two about him. Right. When he's not with the horses, it's his son. It's illegal, whichever way you look at it. <laughs> Man in his position. Quite. What you say, dear? I'm just agreeing with you. Well... She hears you, know, it's fantastic. Anyway, their son. Quite, the son. The one who isn't with the horses. What? The one who... Yes. Uh, supposed to go to university, went to this posh school. Well, something happened at that school. We're not sure, but Mrs. Gantley's nephew has a friend there who's in the fifth form. And it looks as though... Least said soon as men that there's enough trouble in the world as it is these days. Yeah, it's a bit strong, the mother, isn't it? But you, you can't believe it, can you? In Branley. Mark you, on the other hand, Mrs. Gantlett's eldest, Michael, is living with a girl in Stokely. I don't believe they're married. They said register office, but I thought, oh, oh, oh pull the other one. <laughs> How bizarre. How strange. <laughs> what, dear? Mother, I've got something to tell you. Oh? But I don't want you rushing off to tell that Mrs. Butler now. No, 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 no. Right. Now, the chap who works with me in the office, and who should know, says that Mrs. Butler's youngest is friendly... With the girl at the butcher's. Never! Yes, well, why should they be sitting in the back of a car in the Regal with no lights on, then? Oh! Oh, my goodness gracious me, is that the time? Mother, do you have to rush? <laughs> well, uh, a few things to do in the house, I don't dear. want you rushing down the high street and telling that Mrs. Butler everything I've just told you now. No, 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 of course not. Uh, milk, yes, milk. Uh, yes, Bishops will still be open. I can get a bus. Lovely having this chat. Nice to see you, Mother. Look, perhaps next week I'll come and see you for a change. Good night, dear. I haven't thought of that before. <laughs> I quite enjoyed that. Good evening. Now look what you've done. I've oh, done? Shh. I have been thinking. Two is company, three is the other thing. Now you won't be seeing my mother again, and I also will in fact be moving. Three in a flat that is, after all, not all that large. We're bound to get on one another's nerves. So I shall be finding alternative accommodation in Bramley, apartments, rooms, chambers, or something of that sort. In the meantime, I shall be staying in a hotel pro tem. Thank you very much for all you have done in the past. <laughs> Brush. <laughs> Brush. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> 
all that needed was a violin. Oh, you silly bitch. Look what you've made him down. Just because he used your flannel. Do you know something? For the first time in my life, I'm seeing the real you. And shall I tell you something, Sally? You're not only selfish, you are cruel. Oh, miss him already, do you? Well, I hope the two of you will be very happy. You'll make a lovely couple. Oh, you see, I was right. You do care more about him than you do about me. Yes, at this very moment, I do. Yes, because at least he doesn't throw vases at me, kicks me in the shins. I mean, look, look, I'm a ass of bruises. Look. Well, there won't be any more of that. I can promise you. Oh, look, Sally. Sally, come back. Look, listen. Good Sa evening. Oh, Sally. Oh, cool. Oh, you can't fool me, darling. I know what's going on. <laughs> be quiet. Oh, I'll be quiet. Won't get another word out of me, I promise you. So off you go. Go on. To him. It wasn't like that. Oh, no. I could see you in the driving mirror. I'm not made of wood. <laughs> no, goodbye, Roger. Uh, gin and tonic, please. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll be away for a couple of weeks. I'll ring you. Don't bother. I will. Go. Please yourself, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. I'll see you. Uh, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Give my regards to Colin. <laughs> uh, gin and tonic, please. <laughs> a gin... a gin and... <laughs> oh, well, a whiskey, then. A whiskey will do. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> In front of a customer as well. I'm ashamed of myself. Oh, it doesn't matter. I, I didn't notice anything. <laughs> Not a thing did I notice. If you mean, uh, you know, your man friend. Your man. Or your friend. <laughs> Goodness me, I, I mean, I understand that sort of thing. I, uh, <laughs> chacun a son, you know. <laughs> <laughs> One man's meat. No, not that. I, <laughs> Look, I mean, we're all alike, aren't we? <laughs> you know, we're all, well, not quite, but uh, we're <laughs> like that. Well, what is that? <laughs> it doesn't worry me what you do. <laughs> Whatever it is you do, do. I, uh, uh, some tonic, please. Uh, yes. <laughs> but I am sorry. You must forget it. I have. Forget it. <laughs> I mean, goodness me, these days, thank goodness, one can talk about it. One can sort of come out in the open about it. I mean, you're, uh, you're a man, your friend, your associate. <laughs> he didn't look a bit, <laughs> or, or, uh, <laughs> or, or, or in any way, poo -poo. I mean, he didn't. I mean, couldn't. <laughs> I mean, he could have been a policeman. He is. Oh, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> a policeman. Hello, hello, hello. Would you mind walking this way, ducky? He <laughs> <laughs> is at the time. Oh. <laughs> Oh, now, what are, you going to, what are you going to have to drink? Forget it. Come on, what are you going to Oh, no, 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 I couldn't. Come on, you deserve one, goodness me. Oh, you are kind. <laughs> I'll have a small pour. <laughs> oh, <laughs> goodness me. It's been quite a... Cheers. It's been quite an evening for arguments, one way and another. I don't mean just here. I mean, goodness me, at home, you know, at this flat I share with the boy. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> He had a row with his girlfriend. Oh. And I was stuck in the middle. Don't knock it till you've tried it, dear. <laughs> no, I mean, the, the flat is basically, you know, it's too small for three, really. You know, I must find another place in Bramley, but it's not easy, you know, not easy. I tried a number of weeks ago and I just couldn't find anywhere. Here, I've had an idea. Mm -hmm. As you may have gathered, there's a vacancy at my flat now. Um, it's a very, uh, <laughs> it's a very nice idea, very kind of, but I don't... You have your own room, use the kit and bath, somebody to powder your nose. <laughs> no, I promised this other, um... I uh... thought you said there wasn't anywhere. Well, I had promised, it just went clean out of my mind. <laughs> oh, well, come and see what you feel. I know what I feel. Okay. I, uh, I know what I feel. I'll go and have a look at the flat, and if it, you know, seems to be really awful, I know I've always got you to fall back on. I mean, your room. <laughs> Oh, excellent. Now, wonderful. Let me top you no, up. No, 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 no. These are on me. Oh, you. <laughs> You've been such a comfort. <laughs> I'm just waiting here, actually, for my uh, my girlfriend. I don't know if you uh, you know her at all, do you? No, what's she called? Uh, she's called... Um, um, she's called uh, the librarian. <laughs> she's the librarian at the um, library. <laughs> That's handy. Yes. <laughs> Much better than being the librarian at the garage. <laughs> Could I have a copy of The Valley of the Dolls and would you check the oil? 
<laughs> oh, you are a one. No, I'm not. What? <laughs> I'm hello? Not. Oh, hello. So, so have a seat. Oh, sorry, what are you going to have to drink? Uh, uh, a Cinzano Bianca, oh. please. <laughs> I was just having a little sort of joke with Bobby there. Um. There, Miss Foster. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Miss Foster. Mm. Uh, Miss Foster, Bobby, Bobby, Miss oh. Foster. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> oh, Laura, Laura, Bobby, Bobby, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you? We met this morning, don't you remember? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Ronnie. Ronnie Corbett. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> Bobby, Ronnie, Laura, all done and dusted. <laughs> Oh. Oh, shall we move over? Um... <laughs> We've only just arrived. I mean, I like it here. Let's move over here and we'll have a little. Uh, here. Got your braces, caught the door then? <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps, uh, perhaps I better um, sort of tell you about myself. <laughs> <sighs> Ronnie Corbett? Oh, well, we know that, don't we? <laughs> And um, I work um, in an office um, under, uh, no, alongside with um, uh, Colonel Sutcliffe, uh, Bernard, Bernie, Bern. <laughs> I'm sort of, you know, uh, I'm sort of the second in command, really, you know. <laughs> Not a bad job. I'm a sort of biggish fish in a smallish pond. <laughs> you know, one wants to get on eventually and, of course, become a bigger fish in one of the more medium-sized ponds. <laughs> you know, a bigger pond. <laughs> Perhaps one of the London ponds. <laughs> you know. Otherwise, how ever is one ever going to become a really big fish? <laughs> I love the way you talk. <laughs> oh, um, I, uh, I've got this flat. I'm 30-ish. Well, not-ish, 30. <laughs> I'll be 31 uh, next March, March the 3rd. Pisces, the fish. <laughs> Sorry? I see an awful lot of fish about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. You know I can never say no. Uh, uh, look at that picture there. Isn't it terribly attractive? <laughs> <laughs> One, uh, oh, you moved closer. <laughs> well, I thought it was a little bit drafty here, just sort of... <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, anyway, it's nicer close together. It's more friendly. Yes. Uh, now, where was I? Um, oh, I was at work, wasn't I? Yes, I'm in this insurance office. You know, it's not a bad job, really. I get out and about a bit, you know. So, uh, in many ways, the world is my oyster. Oh, sorry, seafood again. <laughs> uh, I like reading books yes. and um, cycling. And, uh, well, not as much as I used to. And uh, music. Oh, classical or pop? Classical. Oh, uh... It, it's not my favourite. Uh, <laughs> uh, pop is really, you know... Is my sort of you know scene. <laughs> yes. Now well, that's enough about me. What do you do? What? Well, I'm a librarian. So am I. Oh no, I mean so you are. <laughs> so you are. <laughs> yes, yes. Of course, I, I, I was there when you were, um, when you were librarying. <laughs> when you were, uh, I was there when you were, librarying. <laughs> uh, working. With the books. <laughs> well, uh, Laura? Yes, Ronnie? Uh, uh, take the bull by the horns. <laughs> no more fish this time. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if you would like, you know, tomorrow. Well, it needn't be tomorrow. I mean, well, tomorrow if you like, you know. Or not tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. If you would like to come to the flat, perhaps, you know, have a drink, listen to some records and... Um, yes, I'm free tomorrow. We could make it next week, actually, really, because <laughs> I, I wouldn't want you to think I'm pushy in any way. I mean, I always like to know a girl before I... Well, I haven't before, but I mean... <laughs> I, I mean, I mean the, the, there would be somebody back in the flat. I wouldn't be chasing you up and down the corridor. Yeah, I'd love to come. I mean, I won't be hurt if you say no. Honestly, I won't. I mean, perhaps it would be better if we went to the cinema. I don't know what possessed me to bring it up, really. Look, no, I, I would love to come to your flat to listen to some records. Really? Yes. Uh, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, shall but we say 8.30? Nervous. Well, I'm not nervous. Well, I suppose I, suppose I, I, suppose I was, really, <laughs> yes. Well, shall we say 8.30 at the flat? Yes. <laughs> Whoopee, 8.30 tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I'm sorry about all that fishing about. It was a bit pathetic, wasn't it? Really? <laughs> now look, Keith, 
Forget it. Forget it. Stop worrying about it. She's bound to come back. Even if she doesn't come back, no point worrying about it. Right? Yeah. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy your liberty. Nip out and have a few drinks. That's yeah, right. I think I will. Are you coming? No, no, I'm not coming. You know, I've got a bit of quiet reading to catch up on at home here. Just staying in, having a nice little quiet read. Well, what are you all dressed up for, then? What? I'm not dressed. I've just got this new shirt on because I'm not going out, you know. Sort of breaking it in. It was a bit stiff in the arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think I'll stay in as well. Just have a little You'd be read. stupid yourself to stay in, have a little read. <laughs> Naughty. You want to go out, enjoy a bit of company. That's what you want to do. You're good. Now, I'll pop out later and I'll probably run into you have a little. You're stuff. right. You're yes. <laughs> you know, it's so ridiculous, though, Ronnie. You know, I mean, I, I love her. I know you love her, and it is ridiculous. But, I mean, I know what you're feeling. I mean, you know what I'm going through? I know what you're going through. I've been through it myself, mate. The huh? moping, the worrying, the getting concerned. I mean, it's not what you're worrying about. I mean, a girl once got me in the most terrible state. Huh? Oh, what a state she got me into. Until I just finally, well, I had to end it. What, you mean you committed suicide? Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I understood what was causing it, you see. It was the place, the room. Everything in it reminded me of her. Yeah. So I took my friend's advice, changed the environment, went out and had a few jars with a... Pals, a bit of a laugh. I forgot all about it. That's what I do, mate. That's what I did do. You're right. I'll go out and have a couple of jars with the lads, forget about the whole thing. Yes, now don't you hurry back. All right, I'll see you later. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, Ronnie. Yeah? Thanks, mate. Yeah. Don't mench, mate. Don't mench. Oven cleaner. Oh. <laughs> It's a bit clinical, smells like an outpatient's when the oven's being cleaned. <laughs> ah, this is what I after. Fist. Masculine freshness that women love. Little bit under the arms. <laughs> ah, see what the punch is like at the moment. <laughs> oh, still a bit cold. Off, give it to me and I'll do it. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> what an awful smell in here. What? what? No, they don't, they don't work in this room. Huh? Uh, except that one. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well, uh, I'll... Uh... Oh, that looks interesting. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, I don't be ridiculous. 
Look, come on, don't be silly. Come in here, take oh, them off. Oh, 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 take them off. oh, oh, dear. And those. oh, dear. oh, 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 what are you laughing at? <laughs> Do you know, it's a funny thing about some people you feel you've known them all your life. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, love. I'll never leave you again. Yes, I'm sorry too, honestly. I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's all right by me if Ronnie stays, just so long as his mother doesn't come round so much. Yeah, I'll tell him, because she's not going to set foot in this flat again because nobody's going to insult my little cells. Oh, oh, oh! oh. oh. Yeah, look, a bit more on your side, dear. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Oh, is, is that is that better? Yeah, it's better now. I can get at it. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. What is going on in there? I don't know, but it's given me an idea. Come oh. here. Oh, oh I've missed you so oh. much, so much. Oh. so much in the future. No, well, I shall be moving out tomorrow, so it won't make much difference, really. Well, look, I'm sorry about the other night, Ronnie. My real objection's just gone out of the door. Yeah, you see, she must have seen us on the sofa. We were the little trailer. You were the big film. <laughs> <laughs> I can explain everything. Oh, really? Which must have seemed very odd. You see, Ronnie had glass in his... Uh, in the light bulb. <laughs> and, and, and all crushed in heaven. Oh, sorry, no, introductions. This is Laura. This is Sally. Hello. And that is... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's Keith. Laura. Hello. <laughs> well, shall we have a drink? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I'll do it for you. Yes, okay. I think you better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all's well that ends well, eh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Still a bit in. Oh, oh you oh, left yeah. some in. You must come have done. Oh, goodness oh, me. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 